Creative Katie, Karen Birchill, with day five and six of Nano Jomo 2016. Take time to subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any upcoming videos. Now this is a double session, number five and six, but I used the prompt from Rosie Cheeks. So here we have the last two sessions and I have a pre-gessoed sheet and I'm going to dig out my folk art cat magazines. And I've traced the pattern that I've picked with my little snowman with rosy cheeks. So we're getting into the winter weather and I trace them. So now I'm just going to prepare the background. So I'm going to use, going to do the saran wrap or plastic wrap technique. And I wasn't sure what paint I was going to use, but I decided to go with the Americana in that burgundy color, which actually ended up red. So after getting a nice layer of it, nice and wet, I placed the saran wrap on there. And I didn't let it sit overnight, as you see in some videos. I'm not that patient. And I just got the crinkles and I'm drying it now. So I'm looking at my color wheel and seeing, seeing what's right across, those are the colors that I'm going to use in on my snowman. So I went to my, here's me cleaning up because I got red paint over all the pages somehow. I'm not sure how people do it. So I went into my jelly prints and got a selection of papers that match those colors. So here you see me cutting out the sign. And my idea is to put the sign on there and do a treatment on this paper. Now in the end, you're going to see me totally throw away this idea um, and go another way. But I thought I'd leave it in because it does show a technique. So here you see me just applying a layer of brown acrylic paint. Again, it's just craft paint and I'm going to make the, let this dry completely. So once this is dry, I'm going to put a even coat of this Demco crackle medium and I'm putting it throughout on the whole thing. Now this I set aside and it says to let it dry on its own for about 30 to 60 minutes. So I'm back to tracing out um, the different parts out of my Jelly Arts jelly prints. I'm putting carbon paper between them so I get a trace of all the pieces. and then doing a quick cut of all the pieces. Now, I decide that the black isn't going to show up, the charcoal isn't going to show up, so I thought I'd take my white Stabilo L pencil and put it on the back and then trace over it and it would see. That didn't quite work well enough, so I used my Neil Color too. You could use chalk as well. So I'm cutting out the scarf for the snowman. We have the snowman and the snow girl. So now I'm going to cut out the hat and on, again it's on dark paper so it's going to be very difficult for it to see and this using the Neo Color tube behind it um, or any kind of pastel really works. Um, being it a watercolor it's not going to show later on it just comes off with water. So I'm just putting my pieces together following the process. Now on the surface of things because you have all these pieces done and they're colored and all the designs are there it seems that this is going to take less time. I find that doing the collage and doing following the folk art patterns is actually more difficult to collage, more it takes more time. So here I have all the components and I am just going to trace on where the snowmen are going to be situated on the 
page because that is the only part that I'm going to paint on, or so I thought at the time, the face of the snowman and the snow lady. And I'm just using white gesso, and I'm getting an even layer, going to dry it in between, and then put another layer. If you keep trying to add too much when it's still wet, it will get all gloppy on you. So here is the paper that I've covered with the Demco Crackle Medium and I'm going to mix up some ivory and parchment, it looked very yellow there, um, paint and put it on and let this crackle. I thought this would look like an old wood sign. And you can see how wonderfully quick and easy this crackle is. I cut out a border from one of the other one of the jelly prints that I've used and I'm placing it in here now as I start placing all the pieces thinking I'm you know in the home stretch I don't know I just got overwhelmed I didn't everything was seemingly had exploded in my studio and I just wasn't liking something about this and so this is kind of where I left it at the end of day one I just didn't like it. What I forgot here was that you do a lot of outlining and a lot of shading and that's what makes it all pop. But I left it. I walked away. I came back for my second session and I decided that I'm not going to use the wood effect, the crackle medium. And in fact, I'm just going to paint the sign right on the page. So I get out my gesso Now, I didn't throw away this sign. I'm sure that will find a purpose on some other page. It just wasn't doing it for me. I think I wanted more white. It was a little too yellow, or I'm not sure if the issue was the page or the issue was just I, I was in a creative slump at that moment. So what do you do when a page just doesn't seem to be moving forward for you? How do you get over it? Leave me a message in the, in the comment box. So again, I'm applying one layer and then I'm going to come back and apply another layer to get this white. Not to worry about the edges because I will still continue, still cover that up with the jelly print. I think sometimes when you're doing a page and you're trying to do too many techniques, you get too much in your head. And I think that might have been part of my problem too. Because the acrylic paint in the background is all nice and dry, um, when I made a mess and got went outside, painted outside the lines, I could easily just wipe it up with a damp cloth. It's one of the joys of working with acrylics. So there we have all the pieces and again it's pretty bland but I had realized that it's the shading and the details that really made it work when I did folk art painting back in the day and now. So I'm just going full steam ahead and I'm just gluing these down with Mod Podge and I'm thinking that that may not have been the right thing to use and I wish I had stopped and actually acted on that and used my gel medium. It kind of made it difficult um, when I did do the shading with the mediums that I was using. It kind of made it a little too glossy. Um, I think I need to use a little more of my gel medium in these cases. So I'm putting the charcoal paper in and I'm just using the phrase that, that was on the sign. I, th I thought about putting um, making up my own saying and font and whatever and I just went with what was there. Sometimes I, you get more creative and do your own thing and sometimes you're taking shortcuts. So I seem to have a little bit of trouble 
lining this up. And somewhere in the tracing and the moving and this and back and forth, it kind of just got a little bit a little bit wonky. So I'm just trying to make it all work together. And I was just having a real difficult time with this. I don't know why. It just seemed to be the way the page was. But I persevered. I think I ended up cutting another scarf afterwards. I think it was just some bad tracing um, to begin with. So I'm trying to glue little bits on there and then I do. I actually go back and retrace it and, and get it a little bit better. But as my usual, I just left all these little faux pas in here. So you can see that, yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go smooth. So here's me just throwing in the towel and just retracing it. Adding a little more Neo Color 2 to the back of the tracing paper. This video is quite long, even though I've sped, sped it up. Um, quite a bit but there's lots of little steps and those are all the details that we add to the pages so you know on, a lot of times in, on the Facebook group people ask well I get this far and I don't know what to do it looks like it's it feels like it's missing something it feels like it's missing something and that's usually all those little details and the details be they little they do take time all the tracing and the liner pen and the liner brush and 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 they all add up in time and they totally make it make the page or the ATC or ICAD but if you're struggling and you're not wondering you're wondering why your pages don't won't seem to pop it's probably in the details at the end so you can use this as kind of a kind of a guide of all sorts of ways to add little details to your page to finish it off. So here I'm using a liner brush with watered down acrylic paint. You kind of get it to th thick cream consistency and I have my liner brush. Now I don't have a problem um, using a liner brush. I, I feel very comfortable with it again from my folk art days. If you um, just a word of warning though, if you use charcoal paper like this, do not go over trace over that with a micron pan. I have killed many a micron pan doing that in my folk art days. But I would totally trace it with my watercolor pencils or inktense pencils and then go activate that with water. That should work rather well. So I'm using, I tried the um, Neo Color 2s and that didn't work. It wasn't the right, quite the right color. So I picked out two blues and I'm just tracing and shading and getting some of the details in the clothing of these snow people. And already you can see that it's starting to make it stand out. It's starting to make it pop. I could have used my Stabilo All Pencil, the, the blue. It just wasn't the right, quite the right color. I could have also done the whole thing in black with the Stabilo Black. Um, that's just a personal choice. 
I like the blue cast that it gives for the snowman, and I use that even on, on this, the male snowman, the snowman, not the snow lady, just, just to give that little bit of blue. So just add more uh, intense pencil, more water as I go till, till it looks like what I want it to look like. And I, I wish I could tell you how I know. I don't. I just kind of follow my instincts with that. So now I'm using a, the black Stabilo to give the detail to the uh, snowman's hat and scarf. And I'm having a bit of trouble because of it being with the Mod Podge. It's just a little slick surface, or maybe it wasn't quite as dry as it should have been, but I was having a little bit of trouble. So if I had used gel medium, I wouldn't have had that issue. People often ask, why do you use gel medium? Why do you use Mod Podge? So here's one reason. I mean, you can use both, and you can survive and make it work, but it can be easier if you use one product over another. You can see, you know, the little bit of shading that, that happens there. And just adding some highlights with the white Stabilo. How are you finding the process of Nano Jomo? Are you doing it? Are you following the prompts? Are you doing your own thing? Leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing and how you're finding the process. Some of the prompts, I'll admit, I'm not exactly fond of. I may try to use them and I may just decide to um, do my own thing. Remember, the goal is that you're creating every day. It's not about making a page every day. It's not about making a work of art every day, even. It's about creating every day, doing something. It's not about the prompts. It's not, you know. So just adding the dots with the stylus and regular um, craft acrylic paint and just giving that a good dry before so I don't smudge it. So this is a stamp that I got in the, the three bucks at, at Michael's um, just the other day. You know my rule, I have to use something right away. And I'm just putting the paint with a paintbrush, acrylic paint, on one of them and just stamping. It was the absolute perfect one. You can see I have some um, snowflakes off to the side. Some were too small, some were too big, but this one was the exact right size. And as always, you know, spray with water or that mixture of Murphy soap, detergent and water, and you know, using a stencil brush, just get in there, or toothbrush, get in there and clean your stencils if you've used it for acrylic paint. And of course I used like way too much white paint, so I am feeding it back into the tube. Sorry I didn't edit that out, but again, it's all part of part of it. So in the process I got the heart all smudged up with white paint, so I ended up having to cut another one. adding the noses, going down the heart. Like I said, there's lots and lots of little details. But this is a great way, you know, paper piece, um, any free printable, anyth anything from a coloring book. 
um, you can paper piece it in the same kind of way and use your jelly prints or color papers. Check out my micron pen and just outlining the heart. And then, you know, I decide, oh, I'm going to outline all of this. Before I know it, I really did outline everything on the page, including the around the outside of the page. I'm kind of doing it quick and sketchy. I'm not being too precise or um, at all. And then I decide to do wibble wobbles, kind of wavy, double wavy lines here, which I don't know where that came from, but suddenly I was doing something totally different. Then I decided to get a stylus. There is these little spaces in between um, where I did the wavy lines and I just put three dots of black paint. And here's the prompt, the rosy cheek. So I'm taking my ink tents, pencils and just shading over it then activating with water. I end up using the paintbrush and getting a wet brush right onto the intense pencil and going in and adding layers of color to give those snowmen the rosy cheeks. I had an idea to outline this in gold and I got out my gold gelato. Yeah, that didn't work. Didn't show up very well. So use my Neo Color to black and I'm just activating it with water on my finger. And you can see how instantly it frames it and it just makes the makes the picture. And I decided that the girl and the sign need to be outlined in black. Again, because I want this black on the outside and I want it all to work together. And getting out my Stabilo, not Stabilo, uh, Uniball Signo white gel pen. Just adding a little bit of detail, but because I put in some places I have the Neo Color 2s and it's waxy, and because of the Mod Podge, it was having a difficult time writing in some of the areas. everything in me for not to not splatter it. So here are some pictures of the finished product. In the end I'm quite happy with it. Took a long time to get there but I didn't give up. Wouldn't that make a nice background for a Christmas card? Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow for the next prompt 
and Nano Jomo.